first guest today is a former professional sports star who's found success co-starring opposite Holly Robinson Pete, much like Rodney has. Please welcome one of the stars of Morning Show Mysteries, Murder on the Menu, premiering this Sunday. Oh, not this Sunday, Sunday, July 22nd, excuse me, Mr. Rick Fox. Welcome, Rick. We're so excited to have you. Good to be back. Good to be back. Hey, hey, Rick, I understand you have a very attractive co-star. Yeah. Right? So how was it working with Holly? How did you guys get along? Uh, I don't know how you go home to her every night. It's, oh, it's, not, it's difficult, right? Yeah, difficult. I ask myself that all the time. <laughs> right. No, it's been great. Uh, I always say that in Hollywood, there's so much hurry up and wait. You know, it's nice when you're waiting to have friends around that you can talk, you have a shorthand, the families, we know each other. So it's been, it's been fun that way. I need to basically continue to come over and study you so that I know how, <laughs> how to portray uh, the romantic side of this. Uh, but it's, it's been great. It's really been fun. So this is the second installment in the series. What can we expect from Murder on the Menu? Well, a lot of, uh, a lot of the same in terms of mystery. Uh, okay. We have another another mur murder to solve. Uh, in my case, I always say Ian Jackson's job is to keep Billy Blessings out of prison for impersonating a police officer. <laughs> so I have to try to solve this crime before she does. She's always one step ahead of me. Uh, but I think genetically, having uh, come from a household of a father who was a police officer, uh, she has it in her blood. She can't help but uh, sniff out uh, the clues, and that's helpful to me. I'm probably the only police officer between myself and my partner, Hawk, who will trust her, uh, her advice. And so here we go on another mystery, the second one installment here from Al Roker, yeah. uh, where we try to solve a mystery again. And, you know, there's a, there's a growing romance. I think one of the reasons you trust her and she trusts you is because there's a... A little bit happening, Rodney. Mm -hmm. Do I need to close your ears for me to talk about this? <laughs> well, yeah. There's, there's we're, some. We're two ships passing well, in the night all the time. You? But are you? We're, we we're trying. <laughs> uh, we're trying to figure it out. Uh, it yeah. may take. Hopefully, it may take. 15 to 20 episodes. So to you're going to keep us out. hanging. Is we're going to keep. We're going to keep trying. Uh, uh, like I said, I got to come. Spend some time with Rodney to figure out how to, how to, how to close the deal and get a little closer. I need closer, a vacation but... from time to time. <laughs> Come on. Well, we have a clip of this, here, of this, uh, this installment where you, you're still ships passing in the night. Take a look. So it was just coincidence you were at my house last night? No, he came by the restaurant, so I thought you should know about Why it. Why didn't you leave a message? I didn't want to intrude. On the babysitter? <laughs> babysitter? Wait a minute. You saw it. Ian, you never called. And you said it was hard to explain, so I just assumed that... My ex-wife got transferred out of town. Emma was shy, and we all decided that she should stay with me. So that's what you meant when you said your life got a little crazy. Emma and I are still trying to figure out a routine. And she misses her mom, and I'm at work all the time. I just didn't think it was the right time to start dating. Oh, no, no of course not. Will you do me a favor? No more exposés. Scout's honor. You two are really good together. Well, again, as you know, executive producer-wise, Holly would produce <laughs> anyone to success, right? I'm like, she is carrying yeah. me. Listen, uh, anything Holly touches turns amazing. to gold. That is uh, for sure. Amazing. Now, yeah. does, does it make you feel a little uncomfortable that one of your good friends and your wife may be having a, a little romantic liaison on camera? As, well... <laughs> As Holly would say, it, it kind of would help if Rick wasn't so easy on the eyes. Oh, I see. Yeah. <laughs> you know? yeah. Um, but no, we know each other. We've known yeah. each other a long time. So, so I'm comfortable with it. it. It's easier, I guess, when you know the person yeah. and you respect each other. So it, it helps a little And you bit. know they're not going to cross any lines. Exactly. <laughs> that is true. Yeah. And you know what? Plus, our, our kids grew up together. They spent a lot of time together. We used to live close by each yeah, other. My daughter, in fact, uh, just completed her second year of college, but you and your former wife Vanessa just celebrated a big milestone yeah. with your daughter Sasha. Sasha turned 18, but she also graduated from high school. Oh my and, gosh, and it's, it's time flies, right? I know Ryan is, oh, Ryan, like you said, Ryan's finished her second year at, at school and now she's heading off to Chapman and, oh my goodness. and film and television as well, staying in the family business, I guess. And I'm looking forward to that. Uh, it's going to be a joy to have her on the West Coast, but I, I hope she decides to come home for the weekend from time yeah. to time and see dad and, and mom. I mean, it, it just goes like that. I know, it's too quick. It really is too quick. It is and way too quick. Yeah, uh, I just hope the dogs don't graduate and go to college. <laughs>
<laughs> so you don't have empty nester quite yet. Right, He's going to yeah, keep exactly. the dogs around. You, I know, since it is Christmas in July, yeah. we were asking about uh, Christmas memories, and I know you have a Christmas memory that that just still lives today that you all talk about constantly. We do. Uh, Christmas brings up a lot of feelings for my boys. Uh, <laughs> my son in, gen in particular, he is a little older than my daughter and my daughter was the only girl for me and she's the last one standing as we just talked about there. You see that Christmas tree with both of those Christmas trees. That's, the, that's not the family Christmas tree. That's her <laughs> Christmas tree. Oh. So, so oh, every okay. year we'd get a family Christmas tree that was in the living room yeah. and Sasha wanted her own Christmas tree. Oh, wow. So one, okay. one, one of the Christmas Christmases, uh, she was getting, you know, she's about four or five years old, and she made a Christmas list, just like all the kids did, and hers was a little longer than everyone else's. Hers was about four pages long. <laughs> and Dad, you know, being a, being a daddy's girl, I, I, I just wanted to get her at least a fair share, maybe three pages. Oh, wow, Rick. For Christmas. Woo. And so we unfortunately had a blizzard roll through New York, and so for three days we were all trapped in the house. So FedEx couldn't show up. So I ordered all this stuff online. So it breaks Christmas Eve, plow, plow, you know, plow out the snow from the driveway, and in comes FedEx. Well, you can't hide it from the kids because no. everyone's sitting there thinking, oh, FedEx, FedEx is Christmas, right? So out comes all the boxes, way too many boxes. <laughs> but everyone thinks, oh, well, it'll be dispersed sure. evenly among all the kids. Well, Christmas morning woke up, and <laughs> <laughs> no. oh, I'd say like 80% of the presents um. were for her. <laughs> And so, I, and so, and so the boys, day. yeah, so the boys <laughs> to this day remember that as like, you know, Sasha's getting spoiled. She gets everything she wants. Well, recently, Kyle, my son who's 23, he, he got a cat for the first time. And it's a female, Selena, Selena Kyle, here you go. And She's he called beautiful. me, he called me out of the blue and he said, Dad, I get it. He goes, I get it. He goes, Selena's like my little daughter, and she can have anything, anything in the wants. world. Yeah. I, 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 feel, I, feel, I feel a little guilty, maybe, because uh, she was born on, my daughter was born on May 1st. So at Christmas time, every year, we'd say, hey, it's Jesus' birthday. And she would say, no, it's my birthday. And I would say, no, sweetie, you were born on May 1st. And she said, I know, me first. <laughs> so, so, so everything to her is me first. Yeah, let me tell you something. <laughs> She's going to be a successful woman. <laughs> That's a winner. Is, you have bred a winner. Thank you so much for being here, Rick. Thank we you. love it's it when you're here.